Now on Bounce, here's a question for you. Is it ever too early to fall in love? We're telling you how to deal with the love lives of your young teenagers and their emerging romantic interests. We want to welcome our body language expert, Blanca Cobb, back with us once again. Nice to see you, Blanca. Thank you. Happy to be here. Uh, absolutely. Let's dive right in. Sure. What does dating really mean to a teenager? That is the million dollar question because every teenager is going to have a different definition. It's up to the parents to figure out what it means for your teen. Mm. For some teens, it could be a name only. Okay. I got a boyfriend, I got a girlfriend. Dating can mean we're actually going to do something together. You have to figure it out. Is it important for parents to figure it out and s establish those boundaries? Absolutely. Yeah. This is a great time when you still have some influence over your kids <laughs> to help them navigate the difference between love and lust. Mm. Because children, as we know, are reaching puberty much younger. Mm -hmm. So what else is happening? Hormones are being released <laughs> well, much sooner. So let's talk about for middle schoolers, and this is yeah. probably parents, you know, <laughs> eyes getting big at home. But what type of social interactions do middle schoolers typically want to have with their boyfriend or girlfriend? Typically, they want to talk on social media. Mm -hmm. They want to talk at school. They want to talk on the phone. Texting, as we all know, is a really big thing. And mm -hmm. my day was passing notes. Right. And you get a response the next day. Exactly. Now you get now immediate responses. Instant. Yeah. So with texting. Is it important to set boundaries with the texting? Like, Absolutely. you know, if, if I'm going to give you this phone, I got to be able to pull up these text messages gotta monitor. and look at them anytime I want. You have to monitor what's going on with mm -hmm. your kids. Because you don't want to make sure they're in a position where they're sexting, where mm. they're sending photographs, okay. where they're not really re realizing the implications of the messages that they're communicating. Do you think that parents are willing to uh, compromise with what they want and what their kids want? They should. Because mm. if you don't compromise, they're going to go behind your back. Mm. They're going to lie. Their friends are going to lie for them. They're going to set up private accounts, and you don't have knowledge to that information. Mm. you got to choose your battles. Yeah, yeah. What do you think parents are really afraid of when it comes to middle school dis dating? I think a lot of parents feel like if they open that door and allow for the boyfriend and girlfriend a romantic mm -hmm. interest, they automatically think there's going to be sex. Mm. It's going to lead to kissing, touching, mm -hmm. and that may or may not be the case. That's why it's so important to communicate and find Set out what boundaries. it means yeah. for your child and what you're willing to compromise on. I mean, I had a boyfriend in the seventh grade, but it was talking on the phone. Thank you. Holding exactly. hands in between classes. Right. You know, that was the extent of it. Yeah. Anything else you want to add, Blanca? Communication is key. So key. But when you have communication, it's not like this. Let's talk about that boyfriend I noticed that oh, you're calling. okay, because the body language. The body language, yeah. that sets up this sets up this. Mm -hmm. It's a body and lockdown, not be and they're not going to listen. You. Exactly, yeah. they're not going to be honest. So it's being open, having a relaxed space, inviting them in. To Even talk. if you don't feel relaxed, exactly, you want to look but relaxed. But you can tell them. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous talking about okay, this with you. Honest. Yeah, because okay. I didn't have my first boyfriend until I was in ninth grade, and here you are in sixth grade, and you're starting to talk about it. Yikes. If you want more information on how to talk to your children about love, you can contact uh, Blanca Cobb on our website, thetruthblazer.com. You can also call our office, the number there on your screen, uh, area code 336-505-8740. She is all over social media. Follow her on Facebook and Twitter. And, of course, all of this information is on WBTV.com in the web extra section under the home tab. Uh, Blanca Cobb, thank you so much uh, for talking about this topic because I know it can be um, a scary one for parents to broach. Mm -hmm. We want you to stick around, though, because we're going to switch gears big time. We want mm -hmm. you to weigh in on the Charleston shooting suspect's uh, body language. We saw him in court today for his first sort of real procedural hearing, and, and we want you to talk about that. So sure, you stay with us, and you folks yeah. stay with us. We're back right after this.